department's daughter, right? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> but we need a traveling salesman. You And least but not last, we need a gas station attendant. Bill, how about you? Bill Ramis? He's got a little hand in it. Let's hear it for Bill. Get him up there. All right, well, the story is about a gas station, a, a guy, the farmer, the uh, traveling salesman. Why don't you stand right up here? Traveling salesman stops. And... Uh, all right, so each one of you hear your parts. I want you to act it out with your eyes, your hands, your whatever you want to do. Maybe don't try to, don't touch each other too much when your parts call you interacting. It's called the traveling salesman. The traveling salesman stopped for gas as it was getting late. He sure was feeling tired and it was snowing on the interstate. He says, won't you fill it up, my friend, and see if the oil's all right. He's talking to him, yeah. And do you have a place where a tired out traveling man might spend the night? Well, the, att the attendant winked at him and said, I bet you've been around. And the man that puts up lodgers here, his name is Farmer Brown. You'll find him at the old stone house, it's just at the edge of town. And he's got a 15-year-old daughter who likes to fool around. <laughs> well, the salesman looked right back at him, and a smile came to his lips. He paid for that gas and oil, and then he gave that man a tip. He started off and put that old gas pedal down to the floor. He wore it off like a bat and nothing flat. He was at that farmer's store. Well, the door opened up and the beautiful gal says, Won't you come on in? The traveling salesman's tongue was hanging out like Rin Tin Tin. He said that old gas station attendant said, I would find you here. And do you have a suitable room you can rent to me, my dear? Alas, kind sir, I'm sorry, but the last one's gone, you see. So if you want to spend the night, you will have to sleep with little old me. He said, how fortuitous, my pretty little miss. And he threw his arms around her and he gave that gal a kiss. Well, her warm and tender ruby lips, he scarcely could believe. And he never saw the hammer she had heading up her sleeve. She says, I'm getting sleepy, big boy. Why don't we go to bed? And as they turned to climb the stairs, she whooped them on the head. So if any story that's this long that makes you go through all this much, it's got a punchline in the end. Well, the very next day, the salesman's car with brand new license plates was sitting at Farmer Brown's gas station. Oh, Farmer Brown was the gas station attendant. What a setup. Down by the interstate. So all of you traveling salesmen, who might be passing through. You better watch your step or that traveling salesman's joke will be on you.
Let's hear it for the, the actors.